I came home one afternoon and I looked outside of my dining room window and there were two police officers. I answered the door and they asked me if they could come in. They told me that they found my daughter Lindsay and her apartment floor. It was early in the morning and she had died from accidental carbon monoxide poisoning. It appeared that she was taking things out of her car over a period of time, left the car door open, forgot to turn it off, got ready for, you know, for bed, had work the next day, and they found her on the bathroom floor with her canine companion, Shilby. I fell to the floor. I was overcome with shock that this could happen. Something so preventable. There were no carbon monoxide alarms in her apartment building. This is Lindsay on her graduation day at Indiana University. I'm there in celebration with her. Soon after Lindsay had died in 2010, I established a foundation in her honor called the Lindsay O'Brien Kessling Wishing Tree Foundation. We actually host carbon monoxide awareness events. We distribute carbon monoxide alarms through our relationship with First Alert. We've been able to give thousands away. We're very blessed to have them uh, as a partner. Carbon monoxide, it is invisible. It is odorless. There is a reason that they call it the silent killer. The number one preventative act that any family member or individual can do is to install a carbon monoxide alarm. It's a very small price to pay for a life-saving device. Parents, when a child is going off to college, give them a portable carbon monoxide alarm that they can install in their dormitories or their apartments. My daughter would still be here today if she had a carbon monoxide alarm in her apartment. This alarm right here is the number one safety device that every single homeowner, um, renter needs to have in their dwelling. This particular one is a tabletop uh, CO alarm that has a life of uh, 10 years, so you don't even have to replace the battery. Folks come back and say, you know what? This alarm saved our lives. One life, that's all it takes.